Hello, this is James Helm of Helm Enterprises Forging Division again. And we're taking a little more in-depth look at the hydraulic forging press that I have. This is a custom-built 42.4 ton three workstation forging press. Essentially an H-frame that provides the backbone for two C-frame presses. It stands 10 feet tall exactly. It has two um, more powerful but slower cylinders, one quicker but less powerful cylinder. It has quick change die systems that are held in with set screws. You undo the set screw and it slides out. So you can very quickly swap any die from one of the six positions to any of the others. This lets you have three different sets of tooling going at once. Helps with um, more complicated forging procedures. Okay. Here's the power pack for it. It's running off of a 10 horse three phase motor. Actually used to run a dust collector here at the woodworking millworks um, that my shop's at back when it still was a woodworking millworks. Okay. Now has an on and off switch so I don't have to go over to the panel every time. Controls are set up to run either by foot Step on the toe, it goes down. Step on the heel, it goes up. This has a little swivel there. Or, in control. Up is up, down is down. Okay. Some of the tooling that I've built so far, just flat plates like this, lets you smooth stuff out a little bit, get stuff straight, use hand tooling, whatever. Um, the basic square forging die. This one is set up with pieces of angle iron on the side that lets you add some uh, auxiliary forging equipment like big fullers, little fullers, a smaller set of forging dies for moving really big um, chunks of steel. The less surface area, the quicker it moves it. And you just clamp a pair of vice grips on either side. So it's quick to change out some tooling on top of it. I have a tool holder that will hold any tool that has a one inch square shank on it. Let's you align tools 90 degrees. Um, just has a set screw that holds it in. This one is a chisel that I hadn't tried yet for punching eyes and tool heads. Hopefully it'll do the job. I haven't tested it yet. I'll do that here in a minute. Not on this video, but I will test it. And over here, a set of combination drawing dies. Have some, or one, one half of it that's a little bit flatter still is rounded but a little flatter. One half of it that is more rounded and here on the end I rounded it so that you can take a piece and lay it across and spread it using it as a fuller without having a sharp edge that digs up into uh, the piece that you're working on. This works great for spreading out axe blades and such. Uh, the basic layout and features were set out by me. The technical aspect of it was done by my second cousin Ronnie and his son Travis built it. And between the three of us I think we came out with a pretty capable and pretty versatile forging machine. And I'm still working on taking full advantage of it. It's made life a lot easier to uh, do forging on heavy steel 
Yeah, it's been a great boon to me. So, thank you very much. Bye-bye.